Hello everybody, this is JP3 here, back for episode 10, can't believe it's been already 10, of our replay through of the story mode in Red Dead Redemption 2. We catch Arthur again napping a little bit. I figured we'd spend a little bit of time uh, in the episode around camp, getting to know some of the characters. Let's see what's up with Kira. Sleep with one eye open, boy. <laughs> so you keep saying. We're not trusting him just yet. It ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch fools, but, um, <laughs> I'm watching you. He flicks some sort of matchstick or something in his face. We're all watching you. I saved your life, Arthur. And now you ain't tied to a tree. <laughs> we'll see how Dutch is doing. You're stalking me too, Arthur. You're getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You were starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. Wow. Boy, Dutch is on edge today. I think I caught you at a bad time. Just don't play games, Arthur. I ain't. It happens. After Bessie passed away... I was drunk for a year. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know something? I was married once. You were? Yeah. Only it turns out that she was already married. So I was a party to big me. <laughs> Just another sin to add to my list. <clears throat> what happened? <laughs> the law caught up with us in San Francisco. She jumped aboard a ship and sailed to Shanghai, I believe. I suppose I still am married in a way, but it hasn't been terribly fulfilling. No, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> no. I suppose not. It looks like you're reading. Good evening, and Arthur. Evening. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was being catty. I, I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry, I'm not being forward or nothing, but That is are. pretty forward, man. You're very sweet. Strange and horrible and an O'Driscoll. <laughs> sweet. I'm not an O'Driscoll, miss. Hey, don't you, okay. don't you snap at her like that. I'll snap your freaking neck. Life's always confused me out. I don't... I feel I understand it very much. Other human beings seem to understand why they were born, but for me, it seems like I was born to hurt and, and suffer myself. That doesn't always seem like a really good reason. Uh, I wish there was another way. But here in this land, uh, I feel very stuck. But uh, I'm, I'm sorry to c complain. I, this is just so. Listen, Charles, you're about the best man I know. Well, that doesn't say much about you, Arthur. Maybe not, but don't be too hard on yourself. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. You good? Just can't seem to get a moment's peace. Well, Dutch is being a fucking dick. Well, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Arthur. Damn. So in a previous episode, we received a letter at our campsite, and I think it's best to read it now because we're actually going to complete the quest related to it today so check it out dear arthur i've written this letter a hundred times or more and i cannot get it right it's me you know it's me from the bad handwriting i know i said when we last spoke and i was going off to get married that we would not speak again i know i said a lot of things and i meant them i suppose at the time but i'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and 
Well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. All right, guys. So Arthur has a love interest, or had a love interest, and we're going to actually go and meet with her. She is a looker, guys. She's definitely uh, she's definitely got a bit of beauty about her. So we're going to leave and head off towards uh, doing the Mary Linton quest. I'm sure, though, there's a lot of things that we will uh, run into along the way, though. You never know what this game will bring you, so let's get into some appropriate clothing, at least for the weather, and head on out of here. We have a looks to be a stranger mission over there, so let's go over to it. It looks like we have somebody firing a weapon. I wonder what this guy is doing over here. I wonder if we can have a little bit of fun with him. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? Oh, absolutely. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Oh, I absolutely am. Me? Hey, real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. I think the carbine will do. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! All right, three for three. Keep going. Keep going. Damn it all. How the hell did you beat me? Huh? Oh damn, that was close. Four to three. Better shot, I suppose. Wow, I didn't realize oh, I'd cut it that close. That didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. All right, the second one's always shooting birds, and since you can't look straight up in the air... All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds... Because I can't look straight up, I might use dead eye for this. Plus, I have no idea where the birds are going to come from. See, right now, they're right overhead. I can't look straight up in the air. Ah, there they go. Shoot! If I can do it without dead eye, I will. Damn it. Come on. Oh, oh we beat man. him. Four to two. Stupid, there we go. Stupid. Ah, oh. oh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. If you ever do play this game, you have to remember, do not shoot until he says it's time to go. Otherwise, he'll claim you're cheating and run off, which will make you want to kill him. Which you probably will do. So let's go do the stranger mission that we saw when we came right out of camp. Did the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really? Laughed at. Balderdash. Balderdash. Hell of a word. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you poop and everywhere everywhere this state was once a vast shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk swim and fly quite unique I call it totalisaurus <laughs> just for now <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence Miss Deborah McGinnis Arthur Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. 
I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best <laughs> thing about science. <laughs> the very best thing about science is proving other people wrong. <laughs> oh, I don't know if there's a... Uh... I don't know if you can dispute that 100%. <laughs> Good luck. I'll keep my eye out for you. What is foggy out here? You can barely see a thing. Uh, we get a rude camper or a nice camper? Oh, rest up here if you want. I won't be much company. Nice camper. That's good. That's good. Hey, mister. Come on, warm yourself a while. Don't mind if I do. Do you have regrets? Do you say regrets? Okay. I've been a loner for a long time. Prefer it that way. But my brother wrote to me and asked me if I'd help his family move out west. We hadn't spoken in years. Two very different fellers. But I thought, this is something I can do. Oh, yeah? Wish I could tell you this had a happy ending. I travel out to meet them, ride with the wagon train, them and a couple other families, all soft-handed city types. A couple of days in, my brother's irking me something rotten. Ask him when I'm gonna settle down, acting like he's better. Uh huh. So, just as we start the climb to cross over the Grizzlies, I bolt and don't look back. And you know what? They got caught in bad weather in the mountains and died. Every single one. Damn. Even started eating each other. Damn. And I always have that one on my conscience. It's a dark story, brother. Dark story. Look, I'm sorry. You need to hear this. I need to keep busy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to hear about your family. Um, I know you. What? You don't know me, friend. Don't like it one bit. Don't like what? Whoa. I ain't even here. How'd this thing go sour? You're the one that freaking left your brother and your his family to eat each other in the damn mountains. I... What? See if I can shoot every bottle on this tree. Maybe if I do, something will happen. I have no idea it would take the time to hang all these bottles up, but, uh... We're going to undo all of their work. Easy, easy. I'm getting to a bit of a better position to see them all. This is not as easy as it might look because there is no aim assist on bottles. Damn it. Stop swinging. I think that's all of them. Ah, uh, there's one more bottle up there. Way up high. Come on. Well, this didn't accomplish anything except for scare the hell out of somebody in a carriage. I don't even see a lady. I heard a lady's voice. I didn't even see a lady on the stagecoach. I, I'm telling you, man, I think that... I think we awoke a ghost. That's what happened. Look, there's no lady on that stagecoach. Maybe the bottle tree has some sort of secret. I mean, I'm not aware of anything. I didn't do that in my first playthrough, but it certainly did sound like a lady's voice and no lady was around. Uh, someone's got to follow up on that. I'm not, uh... Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has it? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well... Come in. All right, lead the way. He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track the tracers pretty easily. But only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. There they are, on foot from here. Oh, there goes Bill, freaking name dropping Dutch. Up in a nice warm cell. Then you can talk all you want. 
There we go. Just in time. Let's go. Damn. Yeah, we better get you out of here. You might fry. I wonder what would happen if the fire actually reached Bill. Would it burn him up? <laughs> I owe you fellas for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Uh, what's next? <laughs> what's next? Well, I'm in Lemoyne now, continuing to put off the Mary Linton quest in order to grab the skins I need for the Legend of the East satchel, but right now I'm apparently stumbling across a crime of some sort. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Just minding my own bit. Ain't so full of yourself. I shot that guy because he threatened me, but I do happen to know that that guy, uh, you know, he just murdered these people and was robbing them, so I know what happens. If I uh, leave, then I feel like a puss, and if I stay, then he's just going to start shooting at me, so. You know, you can see that I have a panther on the back of my horse there. Uh, I did do a panther hunt. I cut it out of this episode because ultimately it took about 45 minutes and it resulted in a good panther pelt despite me shooting him right in the face. Now we've got another witness. See if I can stop him. He does not have to die. He's pointing a gun at me so it looks like he's, uh... Was you who did this? Look, nothing to do with me. Ain't gonna rest easy. Right. Yeah, well, now you don't get to rest at all forever. So now I'm trying to find a boat. I want a boat because if I get a boat, then I can go out to those islands and grab the iguana skins I need. I'm not gonna wait all the way till the epilogue where there's plenty of iguanas out in New Austin to get the Legend of the East satchel. So I'm gonna, first of all, kill, I believe, my first alligator. Uh, that one is just a one star, but my first alligator of this, uh playthrough and it's a tiny one too that means that we can just roll his how did he two stars i hit him right in the face that's garbage come this freaking two star pelt after two star pelt despite perfect shots i do not understand why this game has to be based so much in luck and not on skill uh so we just picked i believe that's our fourth berry all we had to do was pick and eat four berries and we were past what is one of the harder uh, challenges at its second level, Herbalist 2. I mean, those berries are spread all over the damn map. But we got them all. Three, seven items using Sage. That's pretty easy to do. Sage is pretty common. Still looking for a boat, but right now I've stumbled across... Looks like a hole with gator eggs in it and an orchid. Orchids are very rare in this game. So I'm going to grab this one. I don't know if I'm going to collect all the orchids for a quest that's coming up a bit later that we'll talk about. Uh, that You have to collect a freak ton of those and they're very hard to find. But gator eggs, on the other hand, um, they're like three bucks a pop. They're really easy to sell. I don't know what the hell's going on with my horse. I feel like he's just bouncing from like alligator to alligator or something. But I see a boat right over there next to those trees. But I also see a... So it's not bounty hunters. I saw red on my mini-map, but actually it's just one thing, so that obviously means that's a gator. I think my horse is just stuck over there. This is such stupidity. I don't even know if gators will eat your horse at all. But yeah, I don't think your horse can get eaten without your consent. I've got to admit, I've played this game forever. I've never had my horse get attacked by anything, but it sure as hell runs from everything like it's going to be attacked. So let's get this boat. Let's get this boat. Let's go get us some iguana skins. Let's see if we can annoy this guy. He's got a bigger boat than us. I don't know quite how to steal it, uh, it from you know boat to boat there, but I do know how to play bumper boats with him. Bumper boats! Alright, this guy. I'm going to see if I can intercept him. 
If I just keep going in a relatively straight line, I think I can T-bone him. There we go. And I get a health boost for something. I'm assuming not for T-boning him. I'm assuming it's for just continuing to raft. Oh, we got another guy here. We got a traffic jam out on the high seas. Not again. <laughs> I, I seem to be frustrated with myself, but these guys seem to be just fine with my... Uh, Admittedly terrible behavior. I'd like to lasso one of them out of the boat, but I don't think I can use the lasso while I'm boating, but I can stand up in the boat. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. I hope you can swim, dude. <laughs> I hope you can swim. Let's let him go. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. All right, let's just... Dude, I gotta admit, that was a dick move. I'm sorry, man. That was a that was a dick move. I'll, I, I'll give you that. He's not even gonna get back in the boat. He's gonna swim to shore. Why would he do that? Can they not get back in the boat? <laughs> He's still out in the middle of the lake. Or river, or whatever this is. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, he's heading back. Maybe he saw a gator over there and decided, you know what? This is kind of dumb. I could just boat back. That guy's gone now. I mean... It's not like I shot his boat. Ooh. I could shoot his boat and sink it. I don't know if shooting that part will help. I need to be able to shoot the hole, or uh, not the, like the bottom of his boat so it'll sink. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right, this guy thought he could get away. Let's see if we can say something funny to him. You don't look tough. I already got too many lawmen on my tail. Oh, another fugitive here. You look dumb. I ain't sticking around for this. There is a difference. <laughs> oh, really? We're going to start shooting, huh? All right, all right, all right. I see how it goes. Pull your gun, you freaking stupid game. My God, man. He pulls his gun immediately. Oh, crap. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Get out of here. I am a sitting duck for lawmen to... Shoot me dead. If we can just get outside of the red, we should be good. I don't think this is the island that has the iguanas on it, but that really doesn't matter. We just need to get away from the lawmen that will be investigating the uh, this maritime uh, accident. This It was an accident. That's all it was. That is the uh, Braithwaite Plantation. We will become intimately familiar with it a few episodes Several episodes down the line. Here come the lawmen coming in on their horses. And we've got our victim there just laying dead in the in the canoe. Oh, we've got one lawman. Did you see him? He's swimming out there for some reason. He's swimming out like almost where the shooting began. Even though he couldn't possibly have known that. There's the actual victim. He just continues floating along peacefully. And the lawmen continue to investigate. It looks like... That guy quickly found his way back to his horse. I'm kind of curious, what are they going to do? Are they going to ride out into the water and take him off of that canoe? Are they going to try to come over here as if they could somehow possibly know? Let's study that snake really fast. Northern water snake. Pretty rare snake to find. He's still floating along. And they are riding out. Damn it. Since the crime's already over, I don't think... No one spotted me. No one knows that it was me. But I don't give these guys any sort of uh, benefit of the doubt in terms of realism here. As far as I know, they will track me, quote unquote, track me through the water and over into this area. Oh, that guy's going to try to swim and uh, recover the, uh, the evidence there. He's catching up with that boat or that canoe. What's he going to do when he gets to it? He's going to try to get into it and fail. Like he almost pulled the guy out of the canoe and into the water. And he magically flops out of the canoe through some sort of uh, small explosion that seemed to be under his ass. And now that guy's like, oh, well, yeah, no big deal now. I'm just going to uh, go back to shore. He called his horse. If you saw that, his horse uh, was called somehow. And he is, I guess, done with investigating this crime scene. Those guys... Eh. We're, we're all finished. We're all set. Oh, that boat looks nice. I think I want that boat. 
I think I want that boat. That'll get us faster to the island we need to go because it is motorized. So let's see if we can lead him just right. Yes! He's still alive and we've... Oh, crap. Yeah, we got him. We got him. But now we're wanted for a crime on this island for some reason, even though no one could have possibly told of our crimes. Damn it, now those lawmen are going to be after us. This is not going well at all. Let's see if I can make it out to the boat. Let's see if I can make it out to the boat. I'm going to try to kill him. I'm going to try to take him out. That guy's dead. Where's the other guy? It'll take the other people forever to get here. So I'm going to try to kill these guys and then take the boat. They're going back to shore. Let's intercept this boat and we're going to take it away from the search grid here. I don't know what's happening behind that boat, but my guess is, is they are on horses and they are heading my way right now. Oh God, I see him on the mini monocle. He's coming toward us, it looks like. Nope, they're still trying to figure out what to do. Their AI is really confused. And maybe this boat will just float out of the circle. No, 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 no. I don't, I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. I think we need to, ow, God. Here we go. All right. Now, they may start shooting at the boat now that I'm in it and driving it. Now the boat becomes its own target. If they shoot at it, I don't know if the bigger boat will sink. I know the canoes will. But I think we can just ride outside of the search grid and be safe. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They're all going back to shore. One level's over. We survived it. We got us a nice, fast, steam-powered boat, I believe it would be, or, you know, in some way, shape, or form, it must be motorized, and let's head over to the island of the Iguana. Right now, we have bounty hunters that have stupidly and ridiculously tracked me out to this island, which is dumb. Actually, what they did is they spawned on that island, but I need to get all the way over to there. If I can just uh, work around them, I should be fine. Or I could just snipe them from here. If I had my horse with me, then I could have um, gotten better guns for this. Somehow that missed. Oh, no! Jump in the water! Jump in the water! Jump in the water! Jump in the water! There we go. We survived it. We're still getting shot by those morons. I cannot believe it. I had my reticle right on that dude's head. That is garbage. This dude's shooting me while swimming somehow. Or on his horse. But now he's dead. Now you're dead. You ruined my boat, you morons. Alright, we're just gonna take another boat. And we got this one. We're just gonna blow it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it should be on fire right now. Why does the lantern set it on fire, but I can't set it on fire with a volatile stick of dynamite? Oh, well. So now we have bounty hunters again that have tracked us out here. And they really are going to cramp my style when it comes to trying to find an iguana. So I've got to kill them first. Alright, they shouldn't be able to see me from here. They probably can or will, but they shouldn't be able to see me from here. I am barely can shoot through those bushes. Alright. Come on, man. Where you at? What is he doing? Oh. oh, I thought he was that boater for a second there. Come on. I'll just dead I am since the uh, game shooting mechanics are jank. All right, unlike the panther and unlike the gator, we are going to find a freaking three-star iguana. I found three iguanas. They're all two stars, so maybe just maybe the game will stop RNGing me to death. There's a fourth two-star iguana and a fifth. Son of a bitch. Come on now. Come on now. Ah. Yes. That one should be good. That one should be good, boys. That one should be good. Hey, it is. We got it. We got it. And we've got bounty hunters. Again. I shot. If, if I don't headshot him, then I'm doing like probably 2% damage to him. All right. So we need to get a pistol. I'm not trying to give you the slip. I'm trying to shoot you in your face. I just want to shoot you in your face. That's all. 
There's one more guy over here. Can he hit a moving target? I can hit a moving target. Right in the face! To steal or not steal a third boat for the day. Let's get this dude out of here. Now let's get him back to shore. Guess what I see over there? I see some smoke billowing up, which suggests that that's a campsite. I'm hoping the person... That's, or the people at that campsite have their horses with them. If it's an enemy camp, then they will have horses with them. And I'm hoping, yes, it's an enemy camp. Maybe I can just steal the horses without even alerting them, since I really don't have great weapons for attacks. Yep, let's just go. Let's just go. Normally I'd take them all out, but this is actually more exciting. Can I get away without them killing the horse or killing me? Or maybe being shot a hell of a whole lot. I don't think I got shot once the whole time. Nice! Now that's true horse thievery right there, baby. Stealing from an enemy camp where they're all immediately going to be aggro against you? That was almost more satisfying than taking them all out. Alright, we're in Rhodes now, and I want to pay off that bounty ASAP. I'm tired of being hounded every freaking five minutes. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Wait your turn. Hey almost there. done. Hello. Let's just pay that bounty. Good lord. It can't be worth it. You rang. This guy always chastises me for having a bounty. Good lord, it can't be worth it. Thank you. That dude's got a crick in his What's neck. He's gonna move the hell out of the way. I do beg your pardon. Alright, so here's another go and fetch type thing. We found the dinosaur bone lady earlier, and now we find this poster. What we essentially do is we mail in, believe it or not, through the mail, uh, carcasses of small animals to this other person. I won't go into detail because eventually there will be a final quest for that that we'll, uh, we'll look at, maybe. And um, so it, you know, it's all small animals. You have to kill them with the varmint rifle or the small game arrows. Uh, oh, hey, Legendary Animal Territory. I believe this is the Legendary Fox. Come on now, come on now, come on now. I just, I, w I don't want to bonk the shot and have him run off. That can happen, and foxes are pretty fast. And if he runs off uh, well enough, then he'll get away from us and we'll have to start over. But that's not going to happen here, because we shot him right in the face. Looks like there's some shooting going on over here. Let's see what's happening. There ain't no convoy coming through. All right, go for it. Shooting. It's uh, Lemoyne Raiders. Looks like they're just taking target practice right now. Shooting. So am I. Yeah, use your horse's cover, buddy. I shot you two or three times, but oh well. Here's someone humming over there. I'm not sure what that humming was all about. It's a panhandler. I'm going to try not to hurt this guy. I just want to see if he finds gold. That's all I want to do. I don't want him to get pissed off. I don't want him to have to get pissed off. If you're looking for gold, I'd go up river. I'm having no luck here. <laughs> well, that's that's too bad, man. I wish I had some words I could say to you. I thought I could greet you for a second there, but then it took the options away. This is the one. I did not mean to jump on his thing there. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, okay. I do you to relax. I just keep panning, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump on your stupid little barrel there. My bad. Oh, really? You want to come at me, bro? Well, then come at me. <laughs> what in the world happened there? <laughs> I pressed the defuse button. <laughs> yeah, let's just throw him into the water if we can. That would have been nice if I could throw him over his bench there. He's a good fighter just like the prospector we beat up in the early game. There we go. Get your ass beat. Oh, we... Got an, an, the legendary beaver. We're going to get two legendary animals in one episode of gameplay here. Alright, so 
he should be down here by his creation. If you look over to the right, you're going to see one monster beaver dam. He is right under us. There he is. And unlike all the other beavers, this one is white with a pink tail. But now he's just a dead beaver. This is truly a legendary beaver. Literally the only legendary animal I actually regret killing. I would have loved to have seen that bastard finish his dam. This guy's definitely having problems. I don't think he's tricking us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he throwing up inside my horse? <laughs> I love my horse just sitting there just taking it. Ah, I know what this is. I'm really surprised, though, to see this here at this exact spot. Move my, move my horse out of the way so he doesn't get puke inside of his... In Large intestine. Hey, drink up. Oh, thank you. Reckon I was done for there. Oh, oh, oh. I had a bite of that plan over there, and it hit my guts like a freight train. So it's actually designed to introduce you to a poisonous plant that you can use to make your weapons very very powerful I'm just surprised it's right here because this is not where that plan is normally found you've sold me on that plan so yeah there's oleander right there and yeah this is this is not normally at all where oleander is found so I'm really surprised to see it here to see this uh, come up here but uh, it's very good actually that we uh, look out for oleander it really does make uh, I'd say hunting more so than anything else a lot easier uh, when you shoot just about any animal with a poison arrow, they're going to die. It may take them a little bit, but they're going to die. And usually they stop attacking as well. A quail. Just just for the heck of it. I think we need a handful of quail feathers for the trapper. Maybe to make one of the little accessories for your hat. I'm going to move out of these guys' way. Get the hell out of here. Keep back. I moved out of the way. And that's the way you're going to treat right. me, huh? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> oh, man. You tell me to get the hell out of here, I tell you to get the hell off my planet, is what I say. Or, you know, at least this realm within the planet. And now your bodies are desecrated. Oh, we have a second chance at the, uh, at the next treasure map. Christ. Didn't see you come up. Sorry, sorry, just curious about what you got there. Oh, this, this nothing. It's a stupid map. Not even done right. Nothing at all. <sighs> hey, you're crazy. I don't know why. I was kind of hoping he'd just hand it over, but, you know, he takes off running when you point a gun at him. I don't really know why that is. I thought maybe there'd be a line of dialogue where Arthur said, hey, you know, give up the map now, or... <sighs> I think we need a couple more pronghorn skins. I'm just going to see if I can get a nice little bow kill on him. On horseback! That works. That works just fine. I like that. Alright, so it's time. We're going to go do the Mary Linton quest. I'm not avoiding this thing because it's somehow a bad quest. There's just, I don't know, so many little things I end up doing instead or crazy stuff I run into. But I'm truly, I'm going to do it now, I swear. Oh, uh, we've got an ambush. I hate, I hate this ambush because they're all, they're all in the trees. And it's right outside of camp too, so I wasn't ready. Let me see if I can find a good vantage point. They're having a lot of trouble shooting me through those trees as well. That's the good news here. Maybe I can get up behind this rock and get into some cover. I just shot my horse in the ass. Them, they're dead now. Oh my god. This is why I resort to Deadeye. When I'm shooting hats off instead of faces, for the love of God. What is this guy doing? He must be reloading. Oh, we still got guys in the trees too, or at least one guy. I'm just gonna finish him off here. Every time I shoot downhill, it seems like I'd knock a hat off instead. So I'm gonna upgrade the saddle. 
Uh, I actually went to the trapper and was able to get have a saddle made. You can't actually have it put on there. You have it put on here at the stable for whatever reason. Uh, believe it or not, the beaver roping saddle has the best stats out of all the saddles. I'm not sure why. It's There's much rarer animals uh, that you can make saddles from or, or ones that are harder to get uh, perfect pelts from. I'm going to go ahead and make sure the colors coordinate for the bedroll and all of that. And then I'm going to get a nice... Um, Full saddle bag and make sure it's the right color. I think they're about to duel. You heard me, fair. Well, why don't you let your pistol do the talk? Your move. Wow. The asshole always wins the duels, so I guess you feel a little bit better about uh what comes some, next. Huh? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. <laughs> well, let's get to it then. Let's, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. You see that guy off in the distance? Is he just going to stand there? He's trusting that my dueling skills are uh, up to par. Oh, there's another guy steps in. Look, he's trying to get him to move away. Right in the face before he even drew his gun. Get your ass wrecked, son. And there we go. And there we go. I gotta find out what the hell's going on with this douchebag over here distracting me from the task at hand. Hey, moron. Yes, you. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Easy now. <laughs> hey, mister. Dad, you. Oh, oh, this is awesome. For some reason, I never could find this lady until I was in the epilogue from my first I'm playthrough. I'm in a real bind. This in a bad way. You gotta help me. I'll pay you. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me. I'll show you. It was me or him. The I swear. Is this? I gotta clean this room. Can you get rid of him? Oh, Please? God. I'll give you all the money I got. He's got a knife in his gut. Bastard started beating on me. Choking me. He was a demon in human shape. Jeez. Well, I guess he had it coming. Yes. Yes, he did. So will you help me? Uh, I came this far. Okay. I'll get rid of him. You gotta help me, please. I, I am. I will. Jeez. I must really be losing my mind this time. You know, there's a pig pen not too far. Just dump the body in there and go eat him up in no time. That is actually a mechanic in this game. That is true. I think the first time I did this, uh, I think someone saw me and it kind of abandoned the quest or something. And there's a guy right there. But maybe he's drunk and not paying attention enough. I'm trying to take a bit of a wide berth around him, but the pig pen is actually to the right. And just to be 100%, we're going to put him inside the little structure here. So nobody sees pigs feeding on a human corpse. Alright, so we're just going to go back up here and let her know that we've disposed of the body. Take our money and be on our way. Did you do it? Please tell me you did that. another drag, ain't I? Thank you. Please take it. Take all of it. That's how it was back in the day, you know. All right, thirteen dollars. That's not as much as I thought, but damn straight. This whole town's better off. Trust me. Because real men don't care where other men turn. What is this guy talking about? He's suggesting taking a shit anywhere and everywhere is a good thing? <gasps> oh, it's the... that... raccoon hat dude. Oh, this... this is definitely going to be a thing we have to, to figure out. God damn annoying ladies, all you. You ain't men. No, I fought 50 inches. Yeah, we gotta figure out a way to uh, interact with this guy. bear comes in my yard, I eat him. I ate an engine once. Once ate a priest as well. 
Said I was a heathen, so I showed him how much heathen I was. Grilled the old bastard <laughs> right where the stockyards are now. I think some version or form of this guy has appeared in a lot of Rockstar games, but what's terrible in RDR2 is I never can interact with him. Like, there's no dialogue I can... I'm losing customers because of you. I'm speaking the damn truth, Cliff. You know it. Cliff? I'm speaking the damn truth, Cliff. You know it. Can I lasso this guy? But no, I don't want to... I kind of want to fight him. I think you can fight him. I can't interact with him. I... Man. Excuse None me. of you. None of you. Nothing. Less than the turds in the goddamn street. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I take a drink, oh, he'll... There'll be something. I, I don't know. Here it is. I don't know hey, if I can just go up and. My face before I break your scrawny neck. Is he talking to me? Oh, hey, oh yes, here we go, here we go. Let's do this thing. You can cut that out. Oh, I get it, I get it. So come on, partner. Someone else's heels. Move out of the way, chick. Come on. I've been wanting to kick your ass for. This whole entire playthrough. Last playthrough, I couldn't get you to talk to me, but I, now I realize that you just need to take a drink. I guess. Move out of the way, sweetheart! What the hell was that? Damn, this is the hardest fight I've had to fight. Ever. This dude's got some health and he's got some skills. For an old man. Well, we're we are working him over, but he is he's standing tall. Come on now, come on now, go down, dude, go down. I'm I'm kicking your ass. Now now he's got the upper hand. Oh, damn! I can't choke him or even grab him and throw him. There we go, there we go. Get him against that wall. Now it's gonna be now it's gonna be a problem. Now it's gonna be a problem. Who's got a scrawny neck now, bitch? What did you say? You know, I'm sick and tired of your mouthing off, motherfucker. Oh god, the bartender can throw a punch, but I can throw a better punch. No, 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 I ain't stopping nowhere. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Just if my horse can run faster than me. Which I'm assuming is, you know, not an unrealistic expectation. We should be okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to kill this guy. So that adds 20 more. All right, come on now, come on now, come on now. Lazarus, let's get the hell out of here. Oh gosh, we were almost away, but there is a guy that's right above, if you see that little red dot on the mini monocle. But we're outpacing him pretty well. We just need to get enough out of his sight so that the wanted level will go away. Ah... Uh... Just a little bit more, a little bit more, and we're done with it. All right, we are finally here at the house where Mary Linton is currently staying, and we are going to get a chance to meet her, this former love interest of Arthur's. So here it goes. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um, where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family... 
I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yeah, of course we're gonna help her. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. So there you have it. Our first introduction to Mary Linton, and now we'll get a chance to go and help her out, somewhat reluctantly, perhaps. Hey, mister. I've had better days, that's for sure. You trailing me? But I look at you and I know things can always be worse. <laughs> <laughs> what though he's gotta shoot? Sticks and stones, brother. Sticks and stones and bullets in your neck. You can't just go and do a simple mission. I've I've always got to do something. Why do I always gotta get distracted? Please take a dump. Please take a dump. Please take a dump. Please. Irma Gersh, we're finally here. We are actually here. One hundred years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassi into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. A place of safety. <laughs> that is where we are heading. <laughs> yes, Jamie. That is where we are heading. Yes, Jamie. We are heading to paradise. It's in the mountains. Sounds wonderful. It is wonderful, Jamie. Really wonderful. My father. Your father will understand, Jamie. It's paradise. It's in the mountains. <laughs> it's in the mountains. Away, Why wouldn't that be paradise? Together. Together. From the mountains. <laughs> from the from the mountains. What's a what's a, the this dude in the Chile number three in the mountains? Ah. I was trying to be stealthy, but the game stopped me. Shall of safety. Shall of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean... His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'll go the good route. <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? 
I, yeah, I'm going the good route. I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and, and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! So now we gotta chase after Jamie, and Jamie is by far the best horseman in the game. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone that we chase after that's as uh, nimble as this young man. But we're going to make it. We're going to get to him. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Just stop and let's talk about this. I don't have to answer to you. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I was just, just fine by myself. Oh, oh, oh. You little jackass. Sorry, mister. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? You don't leave me alone. I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Yeah! I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Alright, let me see if I can get this the first time. I might not. I'll air it if I don't. Ugh! Woo! I had to sweep shot to calm get that down. one. Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. I love how he gives the gun back to Jamie, that kind of sign of trust. It's a nice little detail to add in there. Nowadays, we would never do anything like that. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. <laughs> Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. <laughs> With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. He does sound like a bastard. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. <laughs> Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. 
I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting <laughs> people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe. I'm letting this conversation play out a little bit. Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. Here we are. You can actually take Jamie anywhere you want to go from this point. And apparently he is one badass with that gun. <laughs> I, I saw that, obviously, in a YouTube video. I didn't test that out for myself. And I'm not going to test it out here. But apparently he is... Make it quick or I might run off again. <laughs> what is... Hey, <laughs> like he's about to run off uh, on the back of my horse? Not sure how that would have worked out. But yeah, apparently he is a crack shot and can take a few shots of his own before he dies, or if he can die at all. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. <laughs> But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Well, I'd love to get a little more backstory on their relationship. It'd be really cool to find out just how big of a fool he must have felt he was made to be, I guess, as a result of that. But we do get some sense of him being rejected by her family and taking some deep offense to that. But that all being said, guys, I believe that's it for episode 10. I know it's been a long one, but I hope you've enjoyed every minute of it. Please use the comments section to let me know what you do like and what you do enjoy about these things and what things you wish I would spend a little more time cutting or a little more time focusing on. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you have not already. But as for now, this is JP3 signing out. Have a wonderful day, and thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Goodbye.